Hello there, my little cobble monkeys. Here we are today. I've got a little something special. I mean, it's not even actually that special, but it kind of is to me because I spotted it and I was like, gonna try that. And actually, that was a while back. And yesterday I actually picked it up. So I don't normally um, name the shops that I buy stuff from unless it's the Craft and Local Beer Shop in Limington. Um, but this one I'm gonna name. I did get it from that there new Audi in New Milton. Um, had my eye on it and uh, yeah it got sucked in by the branding but you know i thought hey if they're gonna go to all that effort to make it look pretty then i am gonna ready well try it so here it is from aldi beer special um it's 5.5 percent it's in this big old what is this a 70 i think it's a 70 sil bottle um yeah i'm gonna I mean, it's got a cork it's a beer anyway what we're going to do is we're going to crack it open and it's a little bit of a sauce, especially one because I just spotted it. I'm not expecting an enormous amount from it, but let's see what happens. So here we are, let's see if we can manage to not damage anything by taking the little corky cork out. Oh, that was uneventful. Anyway, pausey pauseys. There we go, let's see what's happening in here. Anything special, anything special. I like the colour. Colour looks nice. I'm kind of just expecting it to be a lager. Oh, it's actually quite dark, look at that. It is dark. All right. And quite a, a frothy head, looks like a bit of carbonation, maybe sort of medium, medium. Let's have a sniff. <laughs> oh, so it's got a... A lovely sweetness. Now I did, I don't read the bottle. I haven't read the back of the bottle. I've read the front and I'm fairly sure it says rum. It says rum finish beer. Um, so I think that it's like a rum type thing. I would imagine like it's, it's been done in rum casks or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it, it definitely has a sort of sweet smokiness to it. See that head's died down quite quick, so I'm thinking maybe it isn't quite as carbonated as I thought it was. Yeah, definitely a smokiness. Right, let's give it a taste. Mm -mm. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. I would definitely say rum. Mm. Mm. Real sweetness to that, real sweetness. And the carbonation is low. It's, it's a very low carbonation. It's a sweetness, it's almost like, almost like dark sort of cherry, fruity, you know, plummy sort of sweetness to it. And it, it's sweet, but it's not stupid sweet. I, and I actually, Immediately, I'm like, well, this is cool. I was just expecting, you know, something, you know, a la Stella or something like that. But actually, that is quite special. Beer special. Mm. Yeah, real smokiness. Very palatable. The finish, you get this real aroma, that kind of smoky, oaky aroma and the sweetness. It's that sweetness which, which definitely is saying like rum of some description to me. Uh, I like a bit of rum. Who doesn't like you? Oh, oh, with a bottle of rum. I'm gonna have a look at the bottle because I'm intrigued. I wanna know what's going on. Right, a premium dry hopped French beer flavored with rum infused oak chips. Rum, oak, rum, oak. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Um, this method gives the beer a superbly complex and mouth-watering flavour. <laughs> so yeah, 5.5% and it is oh, 750 milliliter bottle. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's nice. It wasn't like super expensive. It was about like three and a half quid, I think it was. It's nice. There was another one as well, a silver one, but I, didn't, I don't know what the difference was. But yeah, I'm actually quite liking that. That's... Um, it's very tasty. Let's have a little bit more. Mm. 
It is very sweet. I feel like I couldn't, I mean, I'll probably drink that, that bowl, but I don't think, I don't think I could drink that all night. It is a bit too sweet to keep drinking, but very, very nice, pleasant surprise from Mr. and Mrs. Aldi. Well done. Well done, guys. Um, I don't know if it says, because they always just say brewed for Aldi or whatever, don't they? Warwickshire. Uh, yeah, I have to do some research, try and find out who actually brews that. But not bad. Give it a try if you come across it.